picture. Why are you taking pictures? Sorry? Why are you taking pictures? What do you mean, why am I taking pictures? What's it got to do with you? That just means no. What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why am I taking pictures? Because I want to. So anyway, as I was saying before the man rudely interrupted me, this is what a building looks like when they've removed all the cosmetic, all the cosmetic cladding. And now it's returned back to its ugly original state. Now I think they're gonna try and put something else back on it because it, it looks kind of half completed. But um, <laughs> I was looking at the traffic anyway. He's on the radio about me. What the hell's his problem? Time is 10.22 in the morning. We look over the roundabout at Family Shopper. Great name for a store. And uh, I've just had to get off the bus, which is diverted anyway, because the entirety of the A6 from Salford into central Manchester is totally gridlocked. And I mention it being 10.22 because it's not 8.22. It's not 7.59. It's not rushy, rushy hour. I said to the driver, I said, uh, is this something to do with uh, shutting down roads for the funeral or something like that? You know, Queen celebrations. He's like, no, it's just roadworks. And that's fucked up. That is really messed up. That, uh, yeah, it's, it's too much. What is Manchester and Salford City Council doing? Are they run by a bunch of bald primates? Like hairless apes hooting in suits. Is that the best they can do? Apparently so. If you're clever, you don't get a job in roadworks in uh, the council. You get a job in investments or something. Look at this. They've even put a temporary traffic light right there. Look. Look at this. Look at this madness. People coming around the, in <laughs> the inside. You spend all that money and you got to sit in traffic with the plebs. Hey, at least you're burning more fuel per minute than everyone else. At least there's that. Look at the way into Manchester. It is Fubar Bundy. And listen, listen to it. Just listen to it. Okay, okay, okay. Something absolutely nuts is happening. They're all turning right. No one's going straight towards the city and I don't understand. Oh wait, there's one car. This isn't right. Something weird is happening. 
I guess today's the start of term. Look, there's like army people. It's all going on, but we're here at Salford Museum and Art Gallery. I've never been in and uh, I've never brought you guys shots. So I'm going to find some one piece of interesting art and then we'll go to the city because you guys don't subscribe to me for the art. You guys subscribe for the fucking kicking crackheads and so forth. And the city tours, of course. But we'll go and have a So, um, yeah. It's so different to the rest of Salford. It's uh, quite refreshing. Let's move on to one times, get you a better photo sensor. The gambler, look at that. Don't gamble, you degenerate. You're ruining it for your kids. Some very, very good art. I always want to high five the statues. Don't do it, Charlie. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. But uh, what's the story here? Look at that. They don't do faces like that anymore, do they? Come back, baby. Come back. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to compare together with you some of great black and white almost, yin and yang, binary on and off. So obviously you've, you've had a look at some of the Victorian art. We've got a few jade ones here. Look at that. Beautiful. And yeah, one thing we can say about the Victorians they carried on the tradition of aesthetics and beauty and color and proportion and art and the value of art. I mean, it's even the building it's, it's housed in. So just fill your mind with the richness of traditional art, normal art. And I use the word normal very directly. So we're looking at normal art. You've got people working. We've got this nice one of death, the Grim Reaper with a black face. There's a skull. If you can look closely, you can just about see the skull. So here we are, art. So let's go into modern art. Okay, prepare yourselves. Now we're in modern art. Look at the room. Look, just, just look at it. It's this, that is art. Compare it to the Victorian room we've just been in. This is modern art. This is what people get commissioned and given lots of money and big spaces to do. I mean, they're okay drawings. <laughs> they're okay drawings and, and that's it. There's nothing wrong with these drawings, but they're, they're okay. It's empty, it's... <laughs> Oh my, this is art. This is art, guys. There's the projector. This, this is art. Oh my god. It's not art. What is this? What's this? Lark Hill Place. Uh, I don't know. Is it a reenactment? It looks like some sort of reenactment of a... Oh, cool. Will do, thank you. Look at this, guys. VR. This is amazing. It's a reconstruction of a old street. It's actually a lot darker than the camera. I'll show the camera makes it a little bit brighter. Look at this, look in people's windows. printing press here. <laughs> Looks like Roosevelt. Very, very cool. And again, looking into people's houses. Very cool. Let's look into this house here. Wow.
Okay, last one is the booze shop. Have a look at the old special old rum port. Very nice. Very cool. Here's the pumps here. Goes to show. It does go to show. Britain's not changed that much. In certain ways, since the Victorian times, it's still a bit, still a bit like this. Thank you. God save the Queen. Sorry, King. From Fleetwood, this one's for you. Or should we say Fleetwood Mike? Or is that a bat? Is it Fleetwood Mac? Fleetwood Mike, this one's for you, mate. Okay, a bit of a 1930s art deco and some 2020s Rolls Royce. One MCR. How much do you think that costs? Number one, Manchester. Number one, Manchester. Is it a footballer? I can't even see who's driving. I can't even see a human in the car. Is it self driving? Damn. It's a bit drier today on Market Street and there's the infamous Barclays Bank British institution <laughs> and directly above it and behind it they're building very expensive flats or apartments if you prefer let's go and investigate okay that's separate and this is the NatWest building mm, sounds good Thing. Air curtains, so we're next to the front door, and this big machine blows a certain temperature of hair, air, hair, and uh, is an air curtain. It's not on right now, which is a pity. I want to get blown. Which man doesn't? Welcome. This is the reverse side of Barclays on Market Street. We are behind and uh, not much progress since the last time I was here, but I have no idea what the inside looks. You can see the steel girders, the Meccano set is uh, being made around the outside. It's probably so much cheaper to renovate an existing structure than it is to build a new one, of course. And that's what they're doing. Welcome to Ancoats. Have a look up Oldham Road at the Eastern Bloc Soviet Apartment. Soviet Apartment, do you come live in housing unit? Very good for you. Sometimes I'm a fan of exposed concrete. Sometimes. So check this out. Down some little alleyway. Look at this cute little house here. Look at that. And they've got some spiky things. They really don't want you on that roof. But look at this. We'll have a little read. This tiny, cute little thing here is a house. And we'll read it together. Buildings of special architectural of historic interest, grade two, four, six, and eight, Bradley Street. The one up, one down houses in each of these do triggers to the rear, the grander properties, Lever Street, blah, blah, blah. 1787, rebuilt and altered in 1996. 12 people living in each property. That's messed up. It's not enough space. Still pretty cool though. I never knew this existed. A short history of tractor in Ukraine. Servant of the people. Servant of the people. Oh yeah. Look at this. Down the side of the town hall. Modeling, shoot.
what does the working class look like today? Well, it's definitely a black, gay, Jewish, transgender, disabled um, dentist. Girls on film. Girls on film. Dogs on trams. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, never saw this one coming. A new threat to our seas. Help us protect the coastline from PPE plague. Who would have thought that plebs and ignorant, obedient little... Yeah, would have... Um... Just littering the seas, and it would never have predicted that. Many people watched my video yesterday from the comment section and uh, got angry and unsubscribed, thinking I was disrespectful. Um, I wish people would listen to the words I say and appreciate the nuance I try and put into, especially when I'm trying to be neutral. I don't believe the monarchy should be abolished. I even said that in the video yesterday. I was standing up for free speech. It's clear that in Great Britain we have a constitutional monarchy. The king, the queen, the royal family are symbolic. They are symbols of the British psyche, of the British soul, shall we say. So let's not insult the queen. Let's not cause trouble. And I didn't. I wasn't causing trouble. I calmly asked the question, should we abol abolish the monarchy? Now, the answer is probably no. Do you want President Blair? Do you want uh, Emperor Cameron? Do you want uh, you know all the royal palaces to get turned into retreats for all the corrupt politicians? Maybe. Maybe you do, but uh, no, um, it's a problem with us, with all of us. We don't listen. We pigeonhole immediately. We don't notice nuance and we lose our minds. That's all I wanted to say. Here's the Manchester Bee, symbolizing Manchester amidst all the remembrance for the Queen. If you like symb symbolism, a bee is very symbolic. Here's another one. Her job is to remove the plastic wrapping so that it stays very neat. There you go. <laughs> Okay, all welcome to the unicorn the unicorn it says unicorn hotel the unicorn and you're all wondering you're all wondering you're all wondering why is there a unicorn in the British crest and the British royal crest in the insignia and why is it in chains the answer is the unicorn represents Scotland in the coat of arms is always depicted bounded by a golden chain which is often seen passing around its neck and wrapping all around its body. The unicorn was believed to be the strongest of all animals, wild, wild and untamed, and that it could only be humbled by a virgin maiden. We all know it's uh, England's uh, tyranny over Scotland, which is why the Scottish part is in chains. But if they want to say, because it's a strong animal and it needs a virgin, to like a bird. If it needs that, then yeah, okay, I'll believe the official narrative. Hi, oh, you're watching the Charlie Beach channel. Thank you, good man. Yes, he's a fan, he's a viewer. Okay, potential new scary man spotted. This young guy here. Walking into women on purpose. He's done it twice now.
Older viewers will remember the run on the bank when Northern Rock went bust. And I think this is still a hangover from the pandemic. They're uh, saying, yeah, just, just queue outside. Just be outside on the pavement. I know you're a valued customer, but uh, it's a big store inside, but could you just stay outside? King Street. Don't let him in. Treating scumbag.